So I guess without further ado, let's um, see how this goes. I it's my first time playing the game. I've only seen a couple minutes of it. I've gone, despite my rabid curiosity about this game, I've gone through great lengths to avoid watching anybody else play it, so that um, this truly will be a blind run. Uh, as in, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I've only seen enough of this game to convince me that this was something that I personally might be interested in playing. Um, like I've seen, I don't know, not very much is my point. Uh, I, I am impressed by uh, the design of the game and how thoughtful the author was about um, what features went into it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be impressed by the execution of those ideas or not, but I think that, at least a design level, this is a well-designed game. Um, so, I have no idea what any of these are for. Do I start with a new session? Um, with an account? Or with logging in? I'm going to guess just new session. Alright, new Hacknet user registration. Ooh, I have to pick a password. Ooh. Man, this is serious stuff here. Uh, I don't want to get this wrong. Um, here, I'm going to pick... Oh, what am I going to pick? Uh, that'll do. If I can, you know, type it the same way both times, that'd be awesome. Press enter to confirm. Sure. Yeah, why not? Ooh. Ah. Oh. Boot complete. Oh, wow. Well, that's an interesting start. For your benefit, I'm going to turn down my speakers a notch. As of right now, I'm at risk. Alrighty, let's do the tutorial. Connect to my computer. One second here. Alright, that should balance a little bit better. Um, Unfortunately, I can't hear what you guys hear, so maybe it's not balanced at all. Likely it's, <coughs> likely it's too loud. Um, anyhow. All right. Scan for adjacent nodes. Clicking, pressing the Scan Network button on the Display module. Okie dokie. Hey look, there's an adjacent node. Connect to this Celestia communication. Um, oh, right.
Okay, we'll hack our way in. I'm going to locate additional computers off of Celestia here. Okay, there's no adjacent nodes for Celestia. That's cool. Um, let's... All right, so we got home, log, bin, and set. Um, wait, what do you mean totally useless? Come on. Colors enabled. Behavior is enabled, We've got a resolution. Uh, yeah, okay, there's not very much of interest there, is there? I do know the resolution of the screen, and I can monkey with that, but whatever. Alrighty then. Ah, so I see these are sorted. Why don't I take a look at some of these? Oh, I don't have wildcard support. Damn, I don't have wildcard support. Okay, so that's all that says, that there's been a connection from there. I was curious, what are all the things that I can learn here, if anything? Yeah, this is a hacking simulator. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Bash wildcard expansion. Um, it's kind of a drag. Let's see, what's this other 114 file? Oh, hey, look, there's an IP address, right? Well, I'm not going to remember that. Um... Well, I want to log into that other computer. Why do I want to delete all the files when, like, I get this useful IP address here? You know, I'm totally going to forget that if I don't type that in somewhere. So I'm going to type that over here. Um, uh, 124, 132. We're going to see where that goes. Um, okay. I'm curious what this file read thing says. Yeah, whatever. It wants me to remove all the files. Alright, and then we can DC. You gotta locate the process command uh, of this process ID and kill it. I'm curious, what was the join command that I used to uh, log into a different computer? Uh, okay, so. Uh, locate the process ID of this tutorial. Oh, well, so the tutorial's got to be under bin, right? No. I mean, what is this tutorial program, I wonder? Um, da da da. So, I see in the log... Obviously, it's not going to be in the log folder. It's going to be somewhere in sys. Um, uh, I would have assumed.
I don't want to use any hits. I want to prove my dominance over this game in every possible way. So it's kind of silly that I would fail the tutorial. So I'm going to figure this out. Again, wildcard expansion would have been a really awesome addition. And if there's any way I could obtain the source code for this game, I'd gladly add it in myself. But um, Well, I don't want to use a hint, but I don't really seem to have much choice, because I've looked through all the directories. Like, here I see... Um, there's nothing in stash. Um, there's nothing in there. Uh, we got just the two things that have been logged. Got a binary file here. And we've got some system files. And so there's really nothing to be shown here. I mean, that's the file system, right? And your exec space should be on your file system. Um, oh, that's cool. So I could hack my own computer. You know, just in case I wanted to hack it. Got the file system. Got the logs. Um... We've already logged in. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's hilarious. Whatever, we'll log in as the admin. Interesting. So we get the same view of everything uh, that we had as our normal user. Um, again, I don't believe that any of these are the process ID of this program. Um, and so, like, if I were to try to, like, list all the processes, like a PS. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right. Um, well, very well, then. I guess PID0 is the tutorial program. There we go. I didn't think that it would accept the PS command, but apparently it does. So that's pretty spiffy, eh? Now, um, we're going to try the login command. I, I didn't think this game would have that command, to be honest. Um, so we're going to try this. Sure. Wait, is that... That's our computer. Yeah. So I have not done anything special by hacking that. Alright. Um, I assume this is just, yeah, this is the game settings and saving and loading and whatever. Don't know what this button is, but it's probably some kind of menu. Nope. Alright. And I could save the game, so sure. Session saved. Okay, we're not connected to any computer, but we could. First contact from Bit. Hey, look. Jmail. Sure. Ah. <sighs> Trapped, there's no way out, not enough time, and I need your help. First, I need to take care of something before I can help him. So I gotta help him, and then I can help him. Sure, why not? Connect to my node and find and delete security tracer. Why would I do that? Oh. 
okay, but, I mean, that's not how programs work, you know? The securitytracer.exe isn't going to go invoking itself. I mean, arguably there might be some vulnerability where somebody uh, gains access to your system and invokes this program, but the program is just a file. I have no need whatsoever to actually delete that. I mean, that's not how programs work, you know? That's like somebody saying, if you have the keys in your car, that those keys might activate the car, just because they're in the car. And no. That's not how any of this works. But okay, fine. I'll delete the security tracer thing. If you're that insistent about it, um, sure. There we go. I deleted it. See? I'm so good at this. Um, okay, so where was my message box? Yeah, 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 yeah. Reply. Additional details. Do you even code? Add. There we go. Um, get it some tools together. Great! Okay. Uh, a guy who goes by the name Viper. Yeah, that's creative. Um, not the brightest crayon in the box. Obviously not, with the choosing a name like Viper. Um, I mean, people will just kind of know you're a troublemaker if you pick that. All right, ignore generic file, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, I could use SCP to download stuff. Reply again when I'm done. Okay, what was it that I'm trying to download, anyhow? Oh, useful code. Yeah, I don't really care. Um. Okay, so note, quick reference sheet. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This stuff. Apparently, yeah, gaining access and breaking security is as easy as typing a single command port hack. Because, you know, it's just that easy to compromise security. Never mind that I took a sysadmin class and I know how to set up a computer and secure it. Yeah, it's just that easy. You just type a single command and bam, you're in. It's that easy, man. Alright, so... Yeah, Zvish says he once played with the metallic sliding of a floppy disk. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, if you didn't know, yeah, that really can transmit viruses. So you should be careful with that kind of thing. Um, you wouldn't want anybody get catching a computer virus. Those things are pretty serious. Alright, so... Gotta probe this node. And use port hack to break active security. And we can scan for adjacent nodes at scan. And clear logs in the log folder. Um, uh, yeah. Because apparently clearing logs with the RM command, yeah, that... that clears everything. I mean, that's how computers are secured, is with that one single log folder. But okay. At the risk of oversimplifying things, yeah, it's a cool concept. Um, I don't need to be all sarcastic about it. I'm just poking fun at things that most people might not know. Alright, so... Uh, Probe it. You see, it's got these ports accessible. Uh, it's got a firewall protecting these ports. So to work or circumvent the firewall, we have to port back. Um, 
Okay, dah okay. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need to um, do. So, in order to uh, interfere with community, pardon me, in order to interfere with communications, I need to um, uh, have four ports open in order to disrupt enough of these that it will actually interfere with the kernel, and the kernel will... Um, accidentally authenticate me or grant me access to some vulnerability by the fact that I'm sending so much traffic at this computer at the same time. Um, and saying I need to uh, open four ports in order to be able to crack it. Um, so yeah, this is my cheat sheet. We see got four ports that we need to be able to access and stuff. Um, in order to be able to actually uh, gain access, we've got to uh, hop on a computer and uh, target this thing. Yeah, this, this is not going to work. Uh, Wait, what? How is it that I have a user account on that machine? That's this machine, right? What am I th What's going on? How do I have access on this machine if I don't... <sighs> you confuse me. You seriously confuse me. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So we see we got four ports here. Um, we get to open additional ports on the target machine. Yeah, so I'm going to hop off of this node. Uh, all right, so port hack usage. Uh, that's not really what I was looking for. Not at all. Okay, how about help port hack? That, again, doesn't tell me what I need to know. Uh, port hack jmail.com. Okay, we're going to hop off there. Uh, start back here. Open additional ports on the target machine. Okay, I've got to reread my messages. Um, okay, what's my message checking command? Uh, apparently, I don't have one of those either. Um, <laughs> open CD tray. Yeah, that that's an important command. Uh, what do you mean mail's not a command? Okay. Uh, so, I guess I have to hit the mail button. Alright, so I have no trouble getting into his files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I've got the quick reference sheet up here. Oh! Oh, I see. So I'm not targeting the mail server. The mail server is just a, a null entity out there. I, I thought that this was the thing I was supposed to target. This looks a lot harder to target than anything else. No, I just need to target this. This guy's home PC, which he's cleverly called a battle station because, I mean, he likes making a target of himself. Um, 
All right, so sure. Yeah, let's probe it. Okay, so here we don't have to open any ports in order to crack him. He's not secured properly. Um, so there, I mean, there is no active security, so I don't need to run port hack. I don't think port hacks can do anything anyway. Um, yeah, totally, okay, whatever. Apparently they've conflated the idea of trying to DDoS a machine versus um, trying to gain credentials. Those are two separate programs, but apparently this game treats them the same way. Um, anyway... So now... Oh, I gained administrator access. Fancy. Let's see, do we have any adjacent nodes? Eh, we got this guy. Entropy asset cache. That's cool. You know, I would have rather jumped from Celesta over to Viper, but sure. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, okay, okay. And I'm sure it's saying that this thing says that we're connected from my computer. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so my goal here is to try to gain super important source code and stuff. But I'm curious what actually lies on this machine. Um, okay, so we got the sys... What do you mean, invalid path? Yeah, slash sys is totally a valid path, but anyway. Uh, so this just contains system files, nothing too special, probably. Uh, we've already seen that the log folder doesn't really contain too much. Um, home contains fun stuff, and how about bin? SSH crack. Uh, Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got SSH crack, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we got work, and we got all these fun little files here. Jasper log. <sighs> I don't... Okay, so I guess there's a guy who goes by the name of Jasper. Um, so that's the entire contents of the file, right? Yeah. Why is there a scroll bar here? Anyway. Um, uh, Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh... So we made a game that has you driving, walking, shooting, and hacking, while constantly looking at their phones. Okay. Yeah, and I've got a mat, and it's got conclusions on it, and you can jump on them. Uh, okay, so what's this target? Let's well, refund. Da, 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 da. The Penetrator Nine Thousand. Yeah, yeah. I might want to have a copy of that. Uh, let 
You know, just in case I need something on this guy later. I'm going to assume that my computer's properly secured. Um. Okay. Uh. What's ASDF? Uh. That text. Induction test. Whatever. Email draft. FTP bounce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, year 11. Like, is year 11 grade 11, or is that actually his 11th year at whatever school he's at? Because with this guy, I could totally see it being either way. Um, <laughs> I downloaded his email. Just because. Alright, so... Uh, Eh, whatever. Got YouTubers to check out. And we got notes. From the server Gollum told me about. Well, I don't know who Gollum is. Um, but again, I see no reason not to copy this file. Okay. feel bad about deleting random stuff here. Really? Uh, oh right. I mean, I'm totally cool with covering up my tracks, but I'd prefer not to um, delete anything that might belong to somebody, right? Um, and not that this game would ever punish you for that, but it's how I roll, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we'll exit. Or DC is the disconnect command. Alright, so... So we got this thing called SSH crack. Yeah, didn't think so. Got the, anyway, I got the binary, so that's cool enough. Um, yeah, yeah, so uh, I got that. Maiden Flight. Uh, now there is this Entropy Asset Cache. Maybe I want to check that out before I go on my first mission. Um. Huh. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on the port. 
Yeah, I can hit tab to autocomplete, which is something it probably should have told me way earlier. Not that it needed to tell me, because I actually know this stuff, but some of the things I know don't actually apply in this universe. Like, I don't know, being able to use wild cards? But okay. Um, so... Yeah, this must be his old test server. It's like an SSH practice, right? Connection established. Alright, I've got a probe first to verify it's got an SSH server. It totally does. It's on port 22. Ooh. So that's how SSH cracking works, by the way. In case you didn't know. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> Okay. Run port hack to break active security. Yeah, that doesn't tell me how to use port hack. And, by the way, there totally is a command SSH. Whatever. Um, all right, we're gonna try port hack on port 22. Obviously, I'm not executing something correctly. Uh, what would that be? What am I doing wrong? Because I am doing something wrong. Uh. Right, of course I don't have a username and password because I haven't cracked it yet. Um. So check my messages. Okay. No, but seriously, how do I do the port hack thing the way the game wants me to? Um, Okay, can be used to autocomplete stuff, blah blah blah. I already knew that. Um, so, what next? Open additional ports on target machine. Gmail. See, I don't understand this adjacency network. Target machine rejected. I guess I need to type in port hack and the IP address or something. No. Okay. Port 22. Nope. Space 22. Nope. Yep. Okay, okay.
Okay. Solves the firewall or attempts to. Right, so I have to crack, and then I have to run solve on things. Um, but I'm still missing something here. Like, if this were a real machine, I could crack this, but I'm not seeing how to do it. Okay. Uh, can I target this machine from here? Thirty-five, one eighty-two, twenty-six, sixty-five. There we go. So I guess I got a trusted connection between those computers. Um, port hack complete. Okay. Um, hey, Vestash. Welcome. Yeah, so... For some reason, after successfully executing the port hack over here, I've been connected back to this computer, Viper Battle Station. Um, what gives? Well, that's not right. And I'm not even on that machine, so how could that work? Um, what machine am I on at this point? That's not telling me anything. Alright. Yeah, fine. We'll just, um... All these are files created because of my activity on the machine. So I've got no problem with purging all of them. Um, but, let's see, yeah, I like that we got this port hack thing going. Um, I'm sorry that we have auto-completed previous commands. Just key up through them. So, I successfully execute a port hack. Which, in my mind, makes it possible for me... Oh, it found a password. Okay. So I have some credential to get in. Uh, I'm trying to target a different machine. Something's not adding up here. Like, if this better correlated with actual hacking, I would understand what's going on. It might frighten some people, but that is the case. Um, yeah, support hack's not in the set of commands that the game knows about. Oh, why don't I use SSH? Well, no, I did SSH crack this machine. That's how SSH is now exposed. I just need to be able to exploit the fact that SSH is exposed. Um, SSH is open. Wait, 
do I not have my command history and such anymore? Okay. We're gonna do, instead of port hack, we're gonna do, um, But I thought the point of SSH crack. Oh. <sighs> Why is that not in the set of commands that I'm able to? know anything about. Um, damn it, and there's no grep command either. Um, so I'm not sure what to do. I'm very much at a loss here. I mean, yeah, I've probed the system, verified that SSH is indeed open, uh, because I ran SSH crack to open it, I guess. Um, But now I need to get around the spire wall somehow. Um, so what's the deal, yo? Ooh, look at all that fire and nails. Firewall analysis past zero. Uh, yeah, that's cute. It's cute how analyze returns something different each time. Uh, attempts to solve the firewall of target machine. Sure. No solution provided. Okay. Well, this is an interesting exercise. The objective is to, um, well, try to help this programmer who goes by the name of Bit. Um, and the way you do that is just by compromising machine after machine until your ultimate goal is attained. That's pretty much all I know at this point. That and just the commands that it gives me. Oh, PS is listed there. Okay. It's because earlier in the stream I said there's no way the game knows what PS is, but apparently um, it's even documented right there. Okay. Hang on. There's a connect command. Uh, so... Whatever. Uh, so we're gonna disconnect from that machine. And from this machine, connect to the other machine, right? 35, 182, 26, 65. Connection established. Okay. That was anticlimactic. Me. So, 
port 22 is open from a firewall perspective. Um, target machine rejecting syndicated UDP traffic. Okay, so to break active security, first I have to open up the firewall. Somehow. Oh, solve SSH. Okay. Um. Uh, no, okay, that's interesting. Solve, and then you put provide the solution. Um. So, I have to provide the bypass sequence. That's what it means by firewall solution here, is that you have to provide the actual solution to get past the firewall. Um. So... Now I just have to figure out how to get the key to get me past the firewall. Salvus SH is a good idea. Um, it's just, unfortunately, it's not the whole answer here. Um, I'm trying to remember what was it I was issuing earlier. Like, I think it was Analyze that I was issuing earlier. Um, and my previous attempts to analyze... Well, okay, I can't scroll up here, but... Basically, here we have a whole bunch of password-ish kind of codes. Um, and... Uh, from this, you can presumably somehow derive the key um, needed to get you past the firewall. I'm going to check my messages in case I missed anything. Yeah, so SSH crack 22 should be the answer. how Jmail has all these things on it. New folder, IRC logs, so many log files, not all of which are mine, but many of which are. Man, there's so much here. I'm guessing all this is... oh, what the hell? Really? I was gonna say, this has all gotta be permissioned off somehow, and it's not gonna give me access to everybody's directories, but. You know, that's just how Jmail rolls. Um, okay, so apparently it's allowing me to see permissions, which is far, far more than what I expected. Um, yeah, yeah, so. In order to gain access to all these things on the mail server, I'd have to have appropriate permissions and such. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna disconnect from the Jmail server. Yeah, look at me, I'm hacking. Um, so I hopped from Viper Battle Station over to Entropy Acid Cache. But, the little snag I'm running into here is that, um, well, I just am not seeing how to, oh, what's this? Ha! Huh. Okay, I shouldn't have executed that. I should have, uh, looked at it. Yeah, it just says true. 
But anyhow, um, I don't understand how what the usage is for the tools that are in my toolkit. Um, yeah, to use port hack to break active security. That's incredibly vague. Um, da 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 da. So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gotta work out how to use it first. You and me both, brother. You and me both. Um, so, yeah. Logs don't indicate anything useful. Ooh, look at it's a binary file. It's scary because it's in binary. Yeah, I know, I know. So I gotta figure out how to get out to this cache, though. So there's Jmail, there's Celesta Communications. I mean, there's no way that there's anything of interest out here. Um. <laughs> Texture folder. Documents and settings, app and fax. Not porn. Documents, serious documents, system textures. You know, it's just clear that that's the texture folder. It only begs the question as to what else lies on the machine. Um, hey, look, there's some IRC logs and data and stuff out here. Yeah, some people are not as bright as others, and don't know what... Oh, okay, one guy says WTF is a palindrome, the other guy says that no it isn't. And yeah, I get it. Took me a second there. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. Oh, this is hilarious. Yeah, bash.org has some pretty classic stuff. <laughs> if we just sent all the criminals some some empty continent and just left them there and showed up 50 years later, like, so, what do you think they'd say? Something along the lines of, good day, mate. <laughs> yeah, good old bash.org. Alright. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, 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 I've seen this on bash.org. Give credit where credit's due. Um, seen that on bash.org. Oh, really? This is probably the data by which I'm able to crack that machine. If I had to guess. If not, it's useful for some other purpose. Um, so I'm gonna cache that away. Okay. Because you never know when Data 245 is going to be necessary, man. Uh, oh yeah, I've seen this on bash.org. Good old stuff. Where a spam bot kicks a guy for using words that are in the Bible. Classic. Uh, this game likes for you to go delete all the log files, because you know, that covers all your traces. There's no way they can trace you if you've deleted files that are in this one directory. Unless they actually know computer security and know where the real logs are kept. Um, but anyway... Yeah, turn it off and turn it back on again. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, um, uh, let's see. So I've got this file here, data two forty five. Wait, no, what was the command that... It's not this command. Uh, so, data 245. Too many characters. Yeah, I don't understand. Are notes.txt and notes.txt1 the same thing? Oh, I get it. So, anyhow, let's try to get back here. Um, so, last I checked, we opened the port. Or we. Somehow we gained access to port 22, but because a firewall's in place, um, I'm not able to progress much further. Uh, so what commands do I have at my disposal again? I've got a um, whole bunch of useless commands there. I can open my CD tray. You know that's going to be useful at some point this game. Um, so, yeah, I have no idea what solve is used for. Honestly, what I would probably do is do like cat data 245 pipe to solve. But, you know, you can't use a pipe operator. Um, I'm getting fancy there. But somehow, like, I'm able to access port 22, but there's a firewall detected, so I really can't do very much. And. I don't have a username and password, and SSH crack is not doing what I need it to do. Like, I did this once already. I know this isn't what the game wants me to do. Um, so, we got a secure shell crack. Uh, but I'm not sure what's supposed to follow that. Like, am I supposed to now do port hack? Because I still can't send UDP packets. Um, yeah, you know, whatever I'm in the mood for, the Lava Lord. We'll do whatever the game asks us to do. Maybe try Solve 22. Okay. Yeah, solve requires me to have some kind of character sequence. Um, so again, here's my set of commands. I can remove a file, list running processes, kill a process, list full files, um, change directory, I don't think that folder itself is a command. Um, and there's move and connect. Uh, let's try connect. I haven't tried connect recently, so maybe... Okay, we got connection established, but again... I'm not sure what to make of all this. I mean, sure, I did the SSH crack, but what, what good is that?
Yeah, unfortunately, like Data245, that packet, or that file, I don't think is something that I'm able to copy, but I mean, I guess I have to keep trying, right? Uh, LLS refers to listing of local files, but that really only applies when you're in FTP mode, anyhow. Um, so... Okay, replace file name target replacement. Oh, so that's the stream editor command. cool. It's just not what I'm looking for. Um, actually, do I have a file copy command here? File rename? Um, no, I've got a file move command, but that's... I've got file remote copy, which is scd. Um, I mean, basically, we're still in, I'm the administrator of my home PC. You were asking me about um, this here file, if there's any way I could copy that and use that as a solution. I, I mean, I've tried this, I think, right? It's a s incorrect length to many characters. So this is where I'm confused. I mean, obviously this file only counts up to 239 anyway. But... Oh, hang on, what if, what if the answer is like 240 or 245 or something? Anyhow, I'm not trying to hack my own machine. This is the machine I'm trying to hack. Um, okay, I mean, I keep getting too few characters, too many characters. Incorrect bypass sequence. Okay, so I'm looking for some four character something or other. So, anybody have ideas for a four character code that would get me access to the system? Oh, you say you mean when I type analyze and I get this as a sequence? Um, Oh, hang on, yeah. Um, so, you're, you're saying that I can... Well, no, so it tells me incorrect character sequence. So, I could guess every four character sequence. It would just take me a while. Um, and I don't think you guys would stick around if I did that. I don't think I would stick around if I did that, but, um, but if I type analyze on the entry cache server and I get a sequence back, and you're saying something or other here, like I guess you're saying if I do, um, what was it? I've already forgotten the command, because these commands aren't memorable. Uh, solve. Solve. CRG2. Yeah. I don't understand it. So somehow these characters are generated. Um, okay. I'm just going to go on a wild guess, because I see some letters here, like T, I... Uh, shit. 
I thought I saw, like, time here. T-I-M-E. I thought I saw time here also. Apparently not. I saw a T and an I and... I'm just guessing at this point. Um, but we're gonna try it. Solve time. Haha! -ha! Don't ask. I did not know that that would work. Uh, anyway. Yeah, there's, you're just supposed to look for a pattern, I guess. And I'm just that much of an elite hacksaw that I figured this out on my own. Um, now I don't know why I noticed time here and didn't notice it up here, but whatever. It's confusing for the sake of being arbitrary and confusing. Alright, so now that I've successfully done the solve command, I still have to issue the port hack using UDP packets um, to gain the admin credentials on the server. So this uses the open port 22 with UDP packets to give me administrative credentials by hacking the port and I guess listening and sending traffic on it until I gain the data I'm interested in. Um, Again, bear in mind, if this were real hacking, I would be better at it than I would be at this game. I'm just saying. I took one sysadmin class, and I know more than I need to know at this point. Um, so, now we're the administrator. I've completely forgotten my mission. You can understand why. Um... New folder 49. Invalid chars test file. Yeah, why not? We'll grab this. SCP in invalid chars test file. Alright. Um, let's check out the sys directory. Whatever. Hex clock. Alright, look at all this fun stuff. Connected from 132. Where's 130? Oh, that's my computer. Yeah, so uh, noting all my connection attempts. And how I eventually actually did something useful on here. Well, let's forget that. So, it's gonna purge the fact that I failed so badly to connect to this. Um, so, I don't know if there's really anything worth noting on here. Like, there's the bin file, or the hex clock. But basically, that was the only file of interest on this computer. Which is unfortunate, given the amount of effort it took me to get in here, but whatever. Alright, let me scan for nearby computers. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have any known computers, so whatever. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Just running processes. Okay, there's a running processes, running process by the name of Notes. I don't know... Oh, that's my computer. Even though I'm doing a PS and I'm logged into a remote computer, PS is showing things that are running on my computer, not things that are running on the remote computer. Ah, things are subtly different. Um, okie dokie. Open CD tray, because YOLO! Alright. And you're not gonna log that I opened the CD tray. Okay, fine, whatever. Having fun with that. Um, so, anything else? I guess I've gone through pretty much all the commands at my disposal here. Um, uh, 
Okay, so yeah, you could use SCP to do the opposite of upload. I said that backwards. You could use upload to upload a file and SCP to download it. Um, that's pretty much the extent of the sophistication involved here. I am curious what um, credentials it used to connect to the Entropy Acid Cache as administrator. I mean, sometimes usernames and passwords are used across more than one authentication mechanism. So if you actually collected them, that would be useful information to retain and abuse. But whatever. Um, yeah, delete System32 on every server, basically. I could take down all these servers by deleting all their files and rebooting them and never be able to connect to them again. And I guess that'd be kind of a silly thing to do. Oh. I forgot. So I got this cool new program, right? Um. Wait, where'd it go? Oh. Yeah, let's execute hex clock. Ooh! Look, it's a clock! And it shows hexadecimal stuff, and I guess colors my terminal. Well, that looks fancy. Um, can I do the famous finger buffer overflow? You know? That'd be awesome if I could. Um, and to some extent, you do get to simulate buffer overruns and such. Um, but you don't really get to do anything sophisticated, I suppose. This is all conceptual, and in general supposed to be more accessible to an audience who might not know things about fingers and buffers and such. But, yeah, essentially that's kind of what you're able to do. Um, the coolest command that I've found here so far is just the PS. Uh, if I don't want to have text clock running anymore, I can kill it, right? Oh, and I still keep all the colors that came with that. Meh. Okay. Uh. Okay, cat notes reopener. Uh, oops, I want to take a look at this file. Okay, no I don't. Uh, are there no configurable files other than Notes Reopener? That's kind of goofy. Fine, whatever. I kind of dislike the fact that hex clock has changed all my colors. I did like the original color scheme. Um, but, you know, this will have to do. Um, yeah, I, I like the idea that this game was made. I think it could be improved with some things, one being Bash Wildcard Expansion. Um, but I don't know, the concept of this game is pretty hilarious, so... There is that. Um. Alright, so I collected Hex Clock from this guy's old PC. You know, maybe I should read some of these things, right? Oh, wait, no, I, I already read this, though. Um... Yeah, I understand how to run programs and provide command line arguments and such. Um, oh, hey, look! There's a test PC out there, so... Uh, apparently I hacked the wrong PC. That's okay. Uh, sure. So let's hack this one, right? Okay, we don't have credentials. I'm gonna take a look at what's open. Um, this is probably what the game wanted me to do first, was to crack SSH here. So this just opens up port 22, so I'm able to access it. 
Um... Oh, there's no firewall. This is the one I was supposed to hack. And by hack, I mean listen in and buffer overrun and whatever it takes to gain credentials on the system. And obviously, when you gain any sort of credentials, those credentials are always the root or administrator on the system. Because, you know, that's how credentials work. Um, so, anyway. This is the machine I was supposed to be hacking into. Not that other one. Um, so, what do I do now? Um, I've already probed it, I've already gained access and credentials and stuff. Let's take a look for additional nodes. Yeah, there's no additional nodes off this one. Um, so, yeah, all that remains is to view the file system. So we'll start with sys, because there's usually nothing interesting in sys. Um, we'll move to log, because it's just me. Okay, bin is empty. Home! Alright, um, test file. Congratulations, you win! Alright, uh, auto log reports. Da, 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 da. Don't forget to clear the browser history. Yeah, whatever. Somebody's up to something nefarious. Okay, so there's this guy by the name of Rasputin. Um, man, these guys take themselves pretty seriously for sucking so bad. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, for all I know, they're spreading disinformation to confuse people, so... Hey, that looks like a sequence. I might want that file. Yeah, I'm totally downloading that file. You never know what when you need that. Okay, so we got cat, cd, ls, cd, mv, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Fork bomb! It's not specified, but it's a useful. Uh, Hey, look! This is what might happen if you got fork bombed. You never know. Um, my, that's hilarious. Okay. Apparently that's just a visualization glitch with this panel. It's actually the same message just shown on the right here. Um, so fork bomb is not specified. That's a useful panic button to... Actually, Fork Bomb doesn't get itself kill the system. It might terminate, or might absorb many resources that are needed for a system to run successfully, but it itself won't kill the system. You could Fork Bomb a computer, but that itself won't stop the system, it'll just really slow it down. Um, Okay, so the shell command sets up a remote host on a system where you have admin access. Um, we'll grab this file. Bob's terminal guide.txt.txt. You never know when you're going to need a .txt.txt .txt file. Um, yeah, Shell apparently sets up... Oh, okay, that's the one thing I did see is somebody demo. Where you're able to... Um, uh, da, 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 it's, you're able to have more than one session open simultaneously. You have multiple shells open. Yeah. 
cracked into the system. And now we remove traces that were here. And disconnect. Alright, so pretty much completed what the game is asking me to do at this point. Uh, I don't know like if I was supposed to do anything useful. Obviously I cracked a computer with that. Uh, the game didn't ask me to crack, but whatever. That should give me extra credit. Okay. Something in return. Some logs on a few computers he prefer weren't there. Um, like a sloppy, delete the logs, blah 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 blah. It's actually not in tilde log, it's actually in the root log folder. Um, uh, so yeah, this is actually incorrect. Unless maybe you're considering that somebody's logged in as the root user whose home directory happens to be slash root. The slash root and the root of the file system aren't the same thing. So even then this is incorrect. It's actually the slash log folder, not tilde slash log. Um, anyhow. Oh, I see. So it gives, he gives me a note and then tells me what computer to hook up to. Okay. Yeah. So fine, whatever, I think I can remember that. There's my point that I'm supposed to crack. So here it is. We're gonna try to log in. Oh, we don't have a username and password. Okay, so we're gonna probe the system, see what ports are open. Um None of them are open by default, but fortunately we have SSH crack that we can run to, um, to open up the SSH port to the outside world. Alright. Now, this computer also has no firewall, so um, getting in doesn't require bypassing the firewall, you just get right in. That was pretty easy, right? Uh, let's scan and see if you have any adjacent nodes. Apparently his bedroom PC isn't connected to like any other computers, so I guess his bedroom PC is the only computer that this computer knows about. Which means he's either got a really tightly locked down home network, or his home computer doesn't know about anything else on I'm sorry, his bedroom computer doesn't know anything about anything on his home network. Or, being that the only computer on his local area network is the one in his bedroom. Probably the latter of which would be more troubling, meaning that like he does all his computing from his bedroom. So, yeah. I'm just saying, not judging, but I'm just saying it's a bit troubling. Um, so anyway, the next logical step would be to see what's on the file system. Sys, as usual, has nothing of interest. Bin has nothing of interest. Log, hey look, all this access file. Oh, hey look, all the IP address stuff is blacked out. Meaning I'm not going to gain any additional info from this. Um, So, work, or email draft. Uh, laptop stolen at convention, contain the dossier reports. Um, letter draft. Da, 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 
Alright, laptop.txt. Um, and whatever. It's got this tax return file. I don't have anything that reads tax returns, so I have no interest in that, I guess. Um, police report. I have no idea if that's going to be of any use, so let's grab it, just in case it is. Uh, yeah, I did read this, right? Yeah. Can't be in the same city knowing that his hero is living... <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Chat log. Stream, blah 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 blah. This must be some guys playing video games or something silly. Um, so whatever. Apparently, there's really nothing at all of interest on this computer. Yeah, bummer. Even as the administrator, I can't get past an IP mask. So I guess that means this computer having no firewall must have been accessed through Tor or something where the actual IP was masked. At any rate, I'm not going to gain any information from reading stuff in the log directory, so yeah. We're just having copied those files, we're going to log off and forget about this. Back on the mail server. Okay. Tell him, dude. It's slash log, not tilde slash log. Do you even rock? Um, where to from here? Yeah! Is this too much to hope for? I don't know. So, there's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach me more. Yeah, see, that's the Entropy cluster I hacked like three emails ago. Um, so, yeah. Okay. That all said, um, things have kind of quieted down here lately. I've made some good progress here today. And, um, it's getting a bit late, at least, uh, as far as I'm thinking. So I think I'm going to break from this at this point and come back to it at a point where I'm better focused and able to make more progress with this. Um, so uh, thanks to one and all for stopping by. Uh, I do hope to see you again here uh, for some more NetHack sometime. Um, and uh, I guess thanks for watching.